What is going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to an After Effects tutorial. Uh, you're probably expecting a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, but I decided I wanted to do this effect in After Effects just because it's the easiest way of doing this. And uh, I don't know, I think you guys will like it this way. Uh, but if you guys want a Final Cut Pro 10 version of this, I haven't found a way to do it in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, but if you guys know a way how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10, let me know and I'll make a video teaching you guys how to do the same effect in Final Cut Pro 10. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do an After Effects because it's the easiest way of doing it. And I'm gonna push play so you guys can see the effect here. It's just this really trippy vertical warp effect and it looks super cool. And, but if you guys wanna watch this actual music video that I'm showing you guys now, it's called Race Car by Ares. Link is gonna be in the description. Check him out, he makes amazing music videos. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a new project in After Effects. I'm using After Effects CC 2017. I'm gonna to go to a file, I'm gonna to go to new, and you can do new project. I already did that, so in the project properties, you're gonna to go to, uh, you're gonna right click and go to import and file, or just press command I or control I if you're on a Windows computer and you're gonna do your video here. I just named it Warp Effect. So you wanna create a composition first so we have a timeline to work with. So we're gonna click and drag this right here next to this folder icon. And this will create a composition for us to work with uh, using the same properties that the music video has, okay? So this is the music video. I'm gonna push space so it renders out really quickly. And this looks, this is straight raw from the music video. It looks really great. Uh, however, if you guys want that really trippy warpy vibey effect then you guys can do what i'm going to teach you right now so right click on the uh, warp effect here in the timeline go to new and adjustment layer and you're going to have adjustment layer one or two or three depending if you already have if you're already working with a project in after effects then you want to go into the effects and properties if you guys don't have this go to window and go to effects and presets or command five type in optics compensation so it should look like this and drag that onto the adjustment layer, directly onto the adjustment layer. Uh, this will be in the distort folder if you guys are curious if you can't find it. So once you guys are here, you're gonna have this going on. Now drag the time head to the beginning of the clip or wherever in the music video you guys want this effect to start. Since this is the actual video and the effect that I want it to start, I'm just gonna place this at the very beginning. Now we're gonna click this check mark where it says field of view, okay? And we're gonna click and drag this and we're gonna drag this inward or outwards. Now you can see that it's kind of warping the edges uh, inwards. We want to do the opposite. So the edges warp outwards. So we're going to click reverse lens distortion and we can continue to drag this outwards. So you can also do a really cool transition with this, but I'm going to drag this out something like this. I kind of want to exaggerate it just a bit so you can actually tell that it's being um, warped. Okay. So now if you see the uh, field of view orientation. You have horizontal, you can do vertical, which looks like that looks kind of funny, but you can do that as well. You can do diagonal. Uh, however, I'm going to do horizontal and you can do where it says view center. You can adjust this first number. The first number will adjust the, uh, I guess the horizontal perspective, I guess. So if you drag it to the right, it's going to shift everything to the right and everything to the left here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this exactly in the middle and we're gonna drag the vertical one, we're gonna drag this from the middle upwards, or you can go down, whatever you guys want, but I'm not gonna go down because his head starts to get warped and it looks a little bit weird. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the uh, stopwatch icon. You can also do this if you click on the adjustment layer, if you click on this arrow, you go to the effects, you go to optic compensation, and it, you, here you have the same exact settings as you do over here in the effect controls, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this stopwatch icon and the time head is at the place I want the effect to start. Okay, now from here, what you want to do is you wanna to go to the very end of that clip and I'm gonna drag this number here, the 538. Yours might be different, but it's the second number here. And I'm gonna drag this upwards. You can drag it downwards, whatever effect you guys prefer. So I'm gonna drag this upwards I can drag it all the way up. I'm just gonna drag it like around here, okay? So now if I go back and I push the space bar, you're gonna see that it starts to shift upwards very slightly, but it looks super cool. And you can tell from the edges there. Now, if you guys want to do the first number here, which will control the horizontal axis, you can do that as well. 
uh, but I'm not going to do that. Now, the last thing that I would want to do is create a vertigo effect, which will really complete this look. So since I, I guess the camera is kind of following his his movement, which he's coming, he's walking forwards, we want to do the opposite. So what we want to do is we want to go to the warp effect here or the music video that you guys have, your clip, click this arrow, go to the transform, and you're going to have scale. What you want to do is you want, since yours might be different so like since ours is the camera is going inward we want to do the opposite okay so I'm gonna click the stopwatch icon next to scale the first number is gonna control the first um, keyframe I suppose and then set the second one will control the, the second keyframe if you have two unless I'm wrong but that's what I've realized okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag this and we're gonna make this we're gonna start big and then we're gonna drag the time head at the end and then we're going to drag this inwards like this, uh, something like that. So now if I go back and I push the space bar, it's going to create a vertigo effect, a very, a very subtle vertigo effect, as you can see. So if I push space, you can see that he's not really moving in scale, whereas the background is scaling up and down a lot. So this is the effect here that you guys can do in After Effects. It's super easy. It's not that, you know, this is easily, anyone can do this, even if you're a beginner in After Effects, you can easily do this. If you guys know a way to do it in, in Final Cut, let me know and I'll make a video for that, okay? So if you guys found this video helpful in any way, be sure to comment down below, turn on the bell notification, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.